shiny friend. Welcome to my channel today. I wanted to go over a few things today that I forgot to do whenever I cleaned up my art studio. If you missed that video, it was the video prior to this where I completely went through everything that was left on my art table for the prior year and put it back in its home and its place and what have you and I had several of you stop by and that was nice to see um, those who did stop by and leave comments I had a couple of people Vicki was um, surprised or, or noticed that I had carpet in my studio and I do she wanted to know if I kept paint off the floor and, and, and I'll just have to tell you shh don't tell my husband but no I don't keep the paint off the floor um also Nicole she was um excited to see the range of my stuff in my studio and she loved the bright color of my studio and it's like I told her back commenting back to her was the fact that I particularly don't like the color of my studio but that's for another day to do something about it. And then also Kendall was um, excited to see. She was also an artist and glad to just come hang out and see what was going on in my space. So for anybody else who watched and did not leave a comment or what have you, that's cool too. I just would like to recognize those who did share um, a little insight or take the time to leave some encouraging nice words there on the last video so today you will see me taking care of some business that i did not get done on that studio cleaning i forgot to do three things it dawned on me like um the next day or two after i got the studio cleaned i was like i didn't even put fresh paper on the table like what I do that every year at the beginning of the year. I start off putting a uh, new paper down. I have a tablecloth over that paper. As you can see, there's something under there, but here's the thing. I didn't want to ruin that tablecloth, but I kind of liked having a tablecloth on there because under the table, it's just a wood desk that my husband helped me build several years ago. So anyway, I got that tablecloth at home um, home goods one year it's been several years ago and so then I had the brown paper and I would put it down to keep the paint off of that cloth now I will tell you once I took the paper up this year I did notice some paint that was on the cloth I particularly am not worried about the paint being on there but I also wanted to have a way at some point in time to make it fresh again and so, anyway, as I'm sitting here now, taking the old brown paper up, I realized that there was a section that I really wanted to save. I want to be able to cut that up, maybe use it for some of my journaling pages. Um, so, you saw me in the vi uh, beginning of this video. I was doing the, the, the other... Boy, I'm getting tongue-tied here. The other two things, because there's three things all together that I forgot to do throughout this um, video of cleaning up my art studio. And those three things were, one is getting the paper changed out here, which we just talked about. And then you already saw me cleaning the mirror, the mirror in the studio, y'all, was so nasty looking. Well, I actually had a little trouble getting it clean, so that's why I broke out the good old vinegar and a um, coffee filter. And so then the other thing would have been I did not take the trash out in there. I forgot to change out the trash. So that was one of the things you've already seen me do. And of course, I just had to take it out again to get rid of the old paper. So now I'm going to finish up this process here once I've got the paper off the table, the old paper, and I'm going to do away with it. And um, now I'm going to get the vacuum cleaner out and I'm going to give this table a good old vacuum just to get some loose stuff that I found up under that paper. And it's probably, I don't know if you can see some spots on there that don't ultimately come up, but 
more of their kind of where I'm vacuuming right now. There, there are some actual paint places. I don't know if something leaked or I'm not real sure what happened. But anyway, like I said, I'm not really that worried about it. I just, um, I, I just couldn't see myself painting on top of that cloth every time. So that's why I put the paper down. So I'm going to finish this up here of getting this cleaned up the best Even I can. Even though I did all that vacuuming in, that, in the prior video of cleaning the studio. <laughs> there I am pointing, pointing the vacuum cleaner thing at you. I was trying to get you with that vacuum. But anyway, of all that vacuuming I did in that video last time, you wouldn't think I would have the first thing else to vacuum. But I'm here to tell you there was a lot up under that brown paper. So, this can kind of be a, a tricky process. Um, I don't put it across the whole entire table. I just put it right where uh, I know I'm going to be painting or leaving my supplies, so to speak. But kind of over there in the corner where I keep things, I, I'm not worried about that section over there. So, you see how easy that brown paper just rolls up. It's kind of to be a little annoying. So if you ever work with this stuff, you better have some some things on hand. But the trick to, for me is if you do turn it over where the roll faces down, you can actually get it to work and cooperate with you just a little bit better versus if you have it laying what I would call on its back where the ends roll up real bad. So here I am pressing down. That's where I want um the paper to go to so you see how i put it down and i press really really hard to make that crease and then i'm cutting on it now even though i made that crease and that's what i'm going by was it perfect no look i i learned to let perfection go a long time in my life a long time ago so anyway all right i've got this lined up here i'm going to set something to hold it in its place so i can kind of go down on the other end and work and just slip it up under there a little bit so kind of get the slack out of it I'm going to put a few things up and then I'll be ready to go on over to the other side and get that that area covered up so um, this side always you know the paper is so much bigger and there's only a little bit left of the table over there that's not covered as you can see so I will uh, section out this again and get it cut close to the side size that I want it and then I'll end up creasing that end again and cutting it off and what have you but in the long run you'll have to look and see what I end up doing to make it smaller to fit that little section of the tablecloth that it's exposed so if you just hang in there with me again right now the side is up where the ends are rolling up really, really bad, but it looks like maybe I didn't ever turn it over. Maybe because I had enough stuff down securing it or something. I just said the heck with it and went on about my business. But uh, I'm here to tell you, if you would turn it over the other way, it's a lot easier to work with. Look how bad it keeps turning up on me. But anyway, I'm gonna get this end pressed down. That was me checking to make sure I had y'all in frame and gave you a little wave there. Okay, so I've got my crease. Um, you see what happened to me? See, I, I, I told y'all I should have turned that paper over. I don't know why I didn't on that piece, but anyway, who knows? Um, but my recommendation is to turn it over because and leaving it on its back like that and it curling up, that, that curls up too much and harder to work with. And see how just easy it just rolled up like that. Oh, now you're going to get smart, Ashley. Oh, now that you've already worked on that end, you can go on and get it turned over. So to quit doing that, that was real smart there. Okay, so let's work on down here on this end. And right now I'm trying to gauge how much, you know, lengthwise on each ends how I want it. So, uh... I kind of, I, once a while ago, I pressed it on the ends before I turned it over. I pressed it and I cut that end off. I really, now that I've turned it on the side that it needs to be on so it quit rolling up, 
I turned it around and put it down on the other end of the table. And so what I've done is come down here and press this end that had not been pressed yet and cut it. And that's how I measured it out. But okay, so watch here what I'm just going to do. You're, like, you're probably like, well, actually, why are you putting the darn thing back on its back again? All it's doing is rolling up again. But no, just, just bear with me. I'm going to take it like a sheet. Connect the two ends. Kind of difficult, but if you keep working with it, keep those corners intact, okay? Find you something set on it, and then just keep working it all the way down and make sure make sure it lines up real, real good, and I'm just going to put a crease in it, okay? What I'm doing is I'm folding that piece of paper in half because I don't need to cover a whole section of that paper, okay? You see there's only a little bit left. So anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this video and get to see this process. But look, if you'll hang around till I finish here in just a few minutes, you're going to see where I take that old piece of paper that had all them paint and swatches uh, markings on it, and I'm going to cut it up for pieces, and I'm going to use it in a journal one day. So just hang tight, and you can get to see that, okay?
hope you enjoyed this process of seeing me do the last three things that I not, did not get taken care of when I cleaned my art studio and then seeing me cut these pieces up that I will use in an art journal one day. I thought some neat pieces came out of it. But anyway, I wanted to pop in one last time and tell you thanks for joining me today. It uh, really just excites me to know that for those of you who stop by, and I can't wait to show you in the next video of the little project that I worked on uh, to be able to share with you. I've been creating on that this week. And so it's going to be something fun getting ready for the month of February being the month of Valentine's Day. So just think of it's going to include hearts. Okay. So, all right, take care and I will see y'all next time. pulled these three out separately. These were my favorite three out of the whole process of cutting these up. Can you see the beauty in those? Look at that. Oh, and I love that one with a little bit of gold in it.